Purple Robe Chronicles. Listen. They love the idea of you. But they do not have the capacity to hold the weight of your energy. Of your inner G. Your inner goddess. Your inner God. And this is something that those of us rare souls have to begin to realize. Yes, you are going to attract a lot of people. Yes, a lot of people are going to fall in love with with the idea of you. They're going to want you in their space. They're going to want you in their field. They're going to want to be around you. They're going to want your energy and your time. But they are not able to hold you. They're not able to grasp the weight of who you really are and your true essence. They can't appreciate it. And since they can't appreciate it, they're not able to reciprocate. You can't reciprocate what you don't appreciate. Okay? So you have to realize this prior to entering into relationships. And this is not just talking about love and men and women, 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 whatever. It's it's platonic as well. It's friendship. It's association. It's It's everything. When you are a rare soul, you have to realize that this is a pretty lonely path because rare souls are rare, <laughs> all right? And we're different. But one thing that a lot of us tend to struggle with, and this is because we're, our souls are just different. You know, most of us vibrate on a on a very pure, authentic frequency of love. So we can be very, very inviting Um, we can give people way, way, way more access than what they're able to handle and way more access than what they've earned. Okay. And a lot of times we find ourselves in these situations where we're depleted. We're constantly giving, we're constantly pouring, we're constantly serving, we're constantly loving, and it's not able to be reciprocated because it can't, they can't reciprocate. They can't, they don't have the capacity to. So remember this rare soul.